going to measure your nude body mass. Yeah. So that will involve you stripping off, and we're going to measure your body mass from out there on yep. the scales. So that will help us to see um, fluid loss. So effectively, as you're sweating in the heat, okay. we can measure you before and after, and we can look at then your hydration status, how much fluid have you lost as an okay. individual during yep. exercise. The other fun bit is we obviously are going to measure your skin temperature, we're going to measure your sweat response during exercise, but we also want to know, particularly from a safety point of view, what is your deep body temperature. So this is our rectal thermistor. <laughs> what? So you've got the pleasure now. Um, I'm going to go away and we're going to leave you. So I'll, you tell me when you're ready. You're going to pop this in up to the tape. Okay, so 15 centimetre <laughs> insertion and leave the rest hanging out. Okay, dangle it out your shorts. Let us know when you're ready. And then we can point you in during exercise to measure what your deep temperature of your body is doing. So Sound good? Just, just to clarify here, <laughs> how much? <laughs> 15 centimetres, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even Ian's laughing at this. Yeah. So, okay, cool. And, and it, you're right, okay. So this is the good piece of kit. This is going to tell us your deep body temperature as you yeah. go into the heat, during the exercise in the heat, and we can monitor you. Okay. In terms of physiology, but also from a safety point of view, what's going on during exercise. Sound good? Sounds cracking. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right, so bit of privacy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave you to it. <laughs> so guys, as you've just heard, um, that is uh, going up with them. Uh, not particularly looking forward to this, but on a serious note, it is a really key part to everything that these guys do. They literally leave no stone unturned. Um, so, bottoms up. Okay, so we're here in the Extreme Environments Laboratories at the University of Portsmouth within the School of Sport, Health and Exercise Sciences. As you can tell by my glasses steaming up, it's pretty hot in here. So currently this is set at 30 degrees C and 50% relative humidity. So it feels warm, it feels close. Why we're doing that is obviously through lots of our research, we're looking at sweat responses, exercise in the heat and hydration guidance for people with cystic fibrosis. So Josh today is going to come in here, he's going to be put through his paces. We're going to use lots of the measures that we're going to use in our research studies to capture his sweat, to measure his core body temperature, to measure the temperature of his skin, and he can experience what it feels like to go through all of that. Guys, uh, yeah, it's, that job is done. <laughs> I'm already sweating and I've not been in the heat lab just yet. Feels quite strange, not gonna lie. Um, wasn't expecting this to happen today, so uh, let's crack on. Cool, so feel good? Yeah, great. Awesome. On top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so join exercise, that's gonna be plugged into a data logger there. So that's okay. gonna give us kind of real time information about your deep body temperature. Yeah. So all we're gonna do now, we're gonna attach some different thermistors on your skin yeah. to different areas. They can tell us the skin temperature during exercise and even when you just go in there into okay. the hot environment. Yeah. Um, we're also gonna have a look at your sweat rate. Um, okay. And obviously in the PhD research, we'll look at sweat composition and some of those things as well. Yeah. So it all comes back to the salt losses during exercise, okay. fluid losses. Excited? Very, cool. yes. Don't know how I'm gonna sit comfortably on the bike, but <laughs> walking around like that now. <laughs> So obviously what we've got attached now, so these are going to measure your skin temperature as yep. we go in and during exercise. So you've got chest, arm, thigh, calf. Those combined will give us your mean skin temperature during exercise. Okay. You feel okay? Feel great. Ready to go? <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Okay, so remember this is 30 degrees C, 50% relative humidity. How's it feel? Oh, I feel warm. Okay, so we're going to get set up on the bike. Yeah. So have you pulled off? I'll take these things all to the side. It's going to get warm in here really fast, but 
that's what we're here to do. So let's see how much I sweat. So that costs how much? Over that. So that thing on my finger now, that I've just been told to be careful with, costs over a gram. So that's going to measure skin blood flow, obviously in that small area during exercise. So when we go into the other lab, we're going to look at um, blood vessel function, yep. some of those small blood vessels, and we'll also look at skin blood flow there as well. But yeah, so that will give us insight in the periphery, so obviously the ends of the fingers. We're going to look at sweat rate, we've got skin temperature, heart rate, and then there's other things that will actually, how do you feel, those kind of things. And in the studies, we'll be looking at how thirsty the people feel, those kind of things as well. Okay, so obviously we've got going now. So that final one that we've just attached in the back, so that's yeah. measuring the local sweat rate. So through there, we've got that machine, and that's essentially capturing multiple data points every, every second yeah. in terms of how much you're sweating. And obviously we're going to measure that all the way through the exercise test. Okay, so obviously Josh is now cycling at a light intensity. So remember, it's 30 degrees in there, 50% relative humidity. So this is his first 30 minute constant work rate cycling task and then he's going to go into another 30 minute one. So what we're looking for is to make it just a little bit meta from a metabolic challenge perspective harder. Okay, He's not going to do maximal exercise, we're going to ask him to work a little bit harder in the second one. But what we're really interested in is how his body's responding from a thermoregulation perspective, in terms of how he feels, in terms of how thirsty he feels, and then the data we're measuring his heart rate, how hot his skin temperature is in terms of his deep body temperature and what's going on from that local sweat rate perspective. So we're just about to increase the intensity on the bike. So all that means is it's going to be a little bit harder for Josh to cycle. He's going to find it harder. Obviously he's in those hot environmental conditions. And then it's going to do that again for 30 minutes and we're going to measure all the same things and see how he responds during this higher work rate that we're going into now. So let's see how he's getting on. So how are you feeling in terms of where you would be? It's hot now. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> oh. Obviously Josh has been in there for his hour now, so we're going to take all the kit off and then we'll see what else we've got in store for him for the rest of the day. Hello. Oh, it's <laughs> hot. Feeling good? Yeah. Alright, so we're getting there safely. We're going to take all the kit off of you yeah. and then we'll get you cleaned up, ready for your next time. So guys, that is today done. Sweat test done, a little bit traumatizing for me, but I did enjoy it, it was an amazing experience. And the important thing, the important thing for me now is to understand what the PhD researcher is gonna be doing for the next three years. We're gonna meet Lauren in our next video. So it's important that you guys can help us support the cystic fibrosis community in as big a way as possible. So please hit like, please subscribe, and we'll keep you notified as to when the next video comes out.